<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to this audio podcast. Um, uh, this audio podcast in this series, uh, the uh, in around uh the lab storm effect v3. This is an audio podcast and a series aligned to the role of endogenous opioids in isochemic preconditioning or IPC in humans. Uh, this audio podcast um uh, will uh is uh this audio podcast um uh will look at uh, the beta endorphin S- uh, assay um and um. The uh, audio, this audio podcast is aligned to uh, the storm lobostic soliloquy, um, and also uh, aligned to a storm, another storm lobostic's production. So, uh, in our, uh, in, in, uh, in around, in around, um, yeah, in around, um, a sort of, uh, sort of, uh, some of the challenges facing, um, challenges that have been facing clinical research in context, at least, uh, in around, uh, in around, uh. Uh, and around isochemia, uh, or specifically around isochemia, although the concept, uh, the, although the concept of isochemic preconditioning um, uh, was was sort of uh, originally described in nineteen uh, in uh, in nineteen eighty six, um, the therapeutic potential of isochemic um, conditioning had been sort of realized or only realized um, in in the in the last uh, five. Uh, five years um, or five uh, five to ten years and whether the intervention whether intervention can improve clinical outcomes uh, still uh, still um, remains um, has still uh, been um, uh, has still remained uh, sort of uh, to be to be uh, determined uh, in, at least in uh, at least in 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 some aspects and uh, in some aspects and a vast number of uh, novel uh, CP uh, CP or cardioprotective therapies or pharmacotherapies and pharmaceutics have, um, with uh, with efficacy, have proven in experimental animal investigations have have failed uh, to improve clinical outcomes in in uh, in uh, in uh, in recipients or patients. The uh, the reason of of the failure to translate the cardioprotective effort effects or ca- uh, cardioprotective effects or CP effects of isochemic conditioning strategies from the from for example bench to uh, bench to bedside have have been extensively dis, uh, have been uh, have been extensively sort of uh, documented in 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 around literature and briefly the uh, briefly this uh, the f- uh, failure can be attributed to several factors so so for example the available animal models of acute uh, isochemic reperfusion injury are inadequate or have been an- inadequate in representing um, a spectrum of comorbidities and coexisting uh, con- uh, conditions of recipients with uh, with uh, with cardiovascular uh, with cardiovascular um, uh, 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 with cardiovascular uh, uh, conditions. Uh, uh, moreover, some some clinical some clinical investigations um, have been poorly poorly designed, and investigators investigators have also failed to take into account the results from from experiment for, from uh, investigational from investigations. So, for example, at the same time, many novel co- uh, cardioprotective or CP CP therapies have been investigated to in the clinical uh, setting without um, without uh, uh, testing or investigating in pre uh, in pre clinical animal uh, investigations. Now, in line to this as well, um, uh, works works um, in around uh, in around between 2008. 2008 and 2009, um, the team, the team um, uh, from um, uh, from University College London or UCL in, in London um, uh, uh, looked uh, 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 team look, the team looked at um, uh, implementing or, or investigating um, um, uh, investigating uh, in, in in at least some context or on where where they looked to understand whether. Uh, beta endorphin, where beta endorphin um, uh, is uh, is evident or can be ev- uh, evident evidenced um, in line uh, in line to aspects of of cardio protection, and uh, where the team where the team um, had um, had um, uh, sort of uh, have looked to take looked to take advantage of utilizing utilizing um, an established sort of remote isochemic precondition preconditioning or RIPC model to quantify sort of a local titers of beta endorphin um, the hormone beta endorphin and um, uh, the the uh, in around this uh, the team looked to uh, the team looked to um, uh, look to uh, uh, involve uh, had involved had involved um, 
uh, had and the team uh, the team looked to involve and had involved uh, a sort of a collaborative a collaborative uh, a, a, a collaborative a collaborative um, basis where there was a link between uh, University College London UCL and King's College London um uh, uh in as in so much as where where beta endorphins um in context of laboratory uh in context of in, in context of the laboratory could be um investigated to understand whether whether there is where there was uh, whether where there is um evidence of cardioprotective uh, a cardioprotective mechanism um in 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 uh, involved in 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 uh in and around um in around uh isochemic preconditioning uh in in humans so in this particular uh, in this audio podcast i'm just going to highlight uh, there'll be uh, there'll be a sort of an overview uh, 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 there'll be an overview um a sort of uh in particular in particular around the beta endorphin uh eliza uh eliza uh, uh, assay uh, and so i'm gonna get it uh so uh, so let's uh so uh, so let's get into this so uh since beta endorphin um uh is uh is a small it's generally a small um, endogenous opioid peptide, uh, peptide or EOP. One of the most viable, uh, viable feasible, uh, feasible ways to measure to to de- to determine its activity uh, is to actually utilize a laboratory assay uh, called uh, called an en- uh, called um, uh, called enzyme, uh, which is called an enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay or ELISA. Uh, Eliza for uh, for short or an, uh, as an abbreviation, and me- uh, measuring the endogenous opioid peptide uh, or EOP um, uh, endogenous uh, endogenous opioid peptide a uh, beta endorphin incorporates uh, uh, incorporates a type of immune um, uh, uh, incorporates um, Eliza Eliza and uh, along with Eliza is based uh, uh, the the uh, along with Eliza the Eliza sort of uh, the ELISA aspect, and this is based on on the principle that antibodies will bind to very specific antigens to form to form antigen anti, uh, antigen antibody complexes, and the uh, the enzyme and linked antigens uh, antigens or antibodies can be used to detect um, and measure these complexes. So, for example, so for example, to detect um, or determine uh, um, an antibody in in uh, in blood, um, a known a known antigen um, is attached to a solid surface. A solution containing the sample uh, a sample uh, is then added to is an, uh, is then added to that uh, to that uh, to that basis. Um, if the sample contains antibody, it will bind to the antigen accordingly. A second antibody, um, for example, against human antibodies, labeled with an enzyme. With, with an enzyme is then is then also uh, is then also added if the enzyme link if the enzyme linked antibody binds to human antibodies the enzyme will will create a detectable change that indicates uh, that indicates the presence uh, and amount of antibody in that sample so in essence in essence uh, in essence and from a basis ELISA ELISA or enzyme Enzyme linked immuno immunosorbent assay and ELISA uh, is a rapid is a rapid and convenient way or, or moda- a, me- uh, a convenient uh, sort of way or methodology for the analysis of EOPs or uh, or opioids. Um, it is also true um, uh, it is also true um, that beta endorphin beta endorphin is um, uh, has been documented as perhaps one of the most reliable um, uh, endogenous opioid peptides for um, for uh, uh, to to assay for uh, endogenous opioid function uh, function in humans, the ELISA uh, the ELISA um, uh, ELISA uh, or, or um, the laboratory the laboratory um, uh, the laboratory sort of application of in context of ELISA has ELISA has been also to achieve uh, has been has been uh, has been identified to uh, to uh, show um, that uh, can achieve uh, can achieve sensitivities. And specificities um, comparable with those of, for example, radioimmune assays, and uh, radioimmune assays, and has and has uh, an advantage in um, in, uh, in, uh, in 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 uh, that ELISA ELISA um, and the ELISA um, uh, is also uh, can 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 um, 
can, has the advantage in context of um, automation uh, automation as a as a laboratory um, as a laboratory basis as well. And so, as mentioned, uh, as as sort of as sort of um, has as has been documented, there's lo various laboratories have investigated serum levels of beta endorphin under under varying physiological or pathological conditions. And again, ankephalins, um, for example, ankephalins have um, have a short um, have a short half life, which preclude it being a decent measure of opioid function. Incre um, intriguingly, uh, 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 enzyme-linked immuno uh, immunosorbent assay or lysate is a sensitive is also a sensitive technique for the uh, uh, again a sensitive sort of technique for the quantification of beta endorphin. Additional uh, advantages um, uh, also include that, for example, a there are no pretreatment no pretreatment um, as it is as is, uh, as, it, uh, as, uh, as is the case, for example. Um, by enzyme multi uh, multiplied immunoassay uh, technique or e EMIT or M uh, EMIT um, and then um, uh, or, or B uh, uh, and B um, small volume uh, a small uh, only a small volume of blood or plasma as, as small as, as little as for example uh, 100 100 microliters um, uh, um, uh, 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 as small as uh, 100 microliters um, for uh, for the, uh, to determine um, beta endorphin um, uh, uh, is um, is required from in context of um, blood or plasma and C um, um, in context of ELISA and specifically ELISA um, that again has a, a good sort of sensitivity um, and uh, uh, a good uh, there's, uh, there's uh, yeah there's a so there's a, a good sensitivity in around in around um, the uh, in around uh, uh, ELISA uh, ELISA as a as a procedure, um, and uh, at the same time um, the um, the uh, 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 where, where it has been it has been docu it's been uh, ev evidence uh, evidence and and and, doc and document uh, documentation. Um, uh, in around in around uh, uh, the use of ELISA, uh, ELISA as a as a procedure uh, has highlighted that um, uh, that um, 10, 10 nanograms uh, 10 nanograms per liter um, uh, is an, uh, um, is is generally the cutoffs the sort of cutoff for 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 example um, to determine or uh, to determine or identi identify for example in context of um, blood and plasma, um, and the cutoffs also for um, for benzodiazepines, cannaboy, uh, cannabinoids, uh, cocaine, um, and and other um, opioids um, as well, and uh, and so um, that draws um, this uh, particular audio podcast to uh, to uh, a close in a context of the beta endorphin assay uh, in in uh, in this. In the in uh, in 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 this in this uh, uh, in this uh, as part of this uh, series in around the role of endogenous opioids in isochemic preconditioning or IPC in humans. Uh, this has been uh, uh, another storm robotics um, uh, another st a storm robotics soliloquy uh, aligned to a series on the and around the lab storm effect V3 and another um, uh, audio podcast aligned to a storm robotics uh, production. The next audio podcast. Uh, in this series, we'll look at um, we'll look at uh, uh, specifically um, the um, the sort of um, the human the human forearm forearm model in context of isochemic reperfusion injury um, and uh, 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 and uh, where works will will look at um, will look um, uh, will also uh, look at um, uh, there will be there the, there will be uh, 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 some um, uh, bases in around um, in around uh, sort of the the uh, um, measurement um, of uh, isochemic uh, reperfusion induced endothelial endothelial function uh, as well in context of uh, flow uh, flow mediated dilatation um, as a procedure and. Um, and uh, subsequent audio podcasts uh, uh, in this particular series will look. Uh, will then look at. Um, uh, uh, we'll look at a, a summary in around isochemic preconditioning 
um, and um, and uh, and, uh, re and and in and aligned to and also aligned to remote isochemic preconditioning, and uh, there will be a, um, a, 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 a basis in around um, sort of the the sort of aims and objectives um, uh, and um, and sort of uh, a basis around uh, a hypothesis in some in some regard to uh, to uh, the 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 research um and uh, uh, in around what the in around sort of uh, the research that ha had taken place uh, between 2008 and 2009 between um uh, between uh, uh University College London UCL uh, and mm -hmm. King's College London um uh, 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 where um where there sort of be an uh, an overview in around um in around sort of the um the the uh, uh basis around um the uh the project uh, the the, re the research that had that had taken place from a sort of pharmacological um from a pharmacological um perspective um uh to identify whether um the role of endogenous again whether the role of endogenous opioids in isochemic preconditioning in humans or ipc in humans um has uh has uh, has an effect um or has a, has an effect um uh, in in uh, in context of uh, CP or cardio protective cardio protection. Um, so thank you for uh, jo uh, uh, for for tuning in on this particular audio podcast, um, and uh, hopefully um, listeners can um, check out the next one. Thank you.